Hello everyone, today in this video we got a really interesting OS and if you are a Mac OS fan, you should take a look at it at least. This one is Ubuntu, it's a Ubuntu based operating system which looks pretty similar to Mac OS Big Sur. So today in this video we are going to navigate through the Ubuntu and let's see how closely it resembles to Mac OS. Now right away, if you right click onto your desktop, you can clearly see the drop down menu feels like a Linux one. Other than that, icons over here looks pretty similar to what you see in the Mac OS. And clicking onto this Apple icon about this computer, here you can see it's Ubuntu 2.0 Lixer. You can see the KDE Plasma version, the framework versions, running it onto my Ryzen. And then we got this other stuff. Um, you can see this looks clearly different uh, than the Mac OS. So yeah. Anyways, uh, let's open up the settings panel. A really great attempt to clone the Mac OS UI in the settings. But you can see here we got bunch of these options. And taking a look at the themes, we got two options. You can choose bright or dark mode. Currently, I was using bright mode. So let me select the dark mode. And here it is. Then we got couple of uh, customization in the plasma styles. I won't go into the details, but basically it's a Linux that looks like macOS. And there are some wonky customizations like you can see this uh, a really flexible kind of a desktop animation. And there is a touch screen option, screen edges, also screen locking and many more customization things. Now in the display setting, you can adjust your monitor colors and uh, then we got this Thunderbolt device management. <laughs> what it is, I really don't know. Uh, in the Mac OS, there is a finder. Here it is Dolphin. So you can see this file browser looks like this. And this one with the white theme, you can see, um, looks like maybe just for the prank, you know, you can, you know, fool your friends that you are using a Mac OS, but actually it's uh, something different. And there is a battery icon over here. I'm using my Ryzen uh, desktop, so there is no battery. Anyway, it's showing the icon. And here you got a search panel, which looks like this. You can search like apps and things that you have installed. And you can see OBS is using microphone. Also, you got status and notifications like this. And there is your calendar. Other than that, this is our app store actually it is named as software and icons are not visible. So that's kind of a weird, but, but clearly it's not Apple's app store. It's uh, something different. Now this is weird. I have already installed the VLC and it, you can see there is an install option still there. So like what's going on? I don't know, but it is still installing the VLC. But uh, here we got uh, Apple services like iCloud Drive. Really? Um, I can clearly see this one looks like a, just a browser URL that they have just, uh, you know, linked to this icon. And there we got Apple Music. Is it really? And then we got iCloud Notes. Maybe, yeah, they are just the links. You can see links to the iCloud website so you can sign in with your Apple ID and use that probably. So let's go into the launch pad and this is one this one is a launch pad plasma over here and the application icons do look pretty similar that's what I can see. Navigating through the apps uh, you can see the user experience uh, is pretty similar like a Mac OS. And by the way, these are pre-installed application. I just installed the OBS studio and that's it. You can see all those apps pre-installed. Do you really need all those apps pre-installed? I don't know. Uh, then we got Balena Itcher pre-installed. Although I was kind of a disappointed since the app store is not working properly. Even the icons are not properly visible. So that's kind of a ruining the experience of app store. Even if the app store does not work, you can install any app using command line. But do you really need to do that? That's the question. Nevertheless, it works and I managed to install Firefox. And general web browsing experience is kind of okay. I would not say it's uh, the super fast one, but it does work without any problem. 
and now let me check the system utilization so you can see the cpu utilization is going pretty high at this point of time uh, now considering i'm using obs studio to record this video right now i can see this utilization is perfectly fine for my cpu particularly i don't see any bloatware is consuming lot of your system power there compared to any mac os performance this one does not seem to compete with that so but still this operating system can be a good conversation starter within your friend circle to just show off uh, what kind of uh, things you can do with your pc with uh, simple operating systems like ubuntu few days ago i did a video on pros which is pretty similar to what you see in the ubuntu and similarly the installation steps are pretty simple you just load it up into your flash drive and boot it up from that particular one here i will select the ubuntu iso then we got try and install and right away you can try it up and install your ubuntu but before you do the actual installation you can give it a try right here so that's a good thing now here is a quick little montage of me installing the ubuntu so enjoy it So that's it guys that's all for today's video I hope you enjoyed it a lot make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one goodbye